Hello, welcome to part two of my massive tutorial. And what I'm going over right now is the uh, modulator section. Uh, this modulator section, which is in blue and green, specifically has four envelopes, uh, a low frequency oscillator, two of those, and I'm not sure what this stands for. Um, it says PERF and a stepper. So we'll first go over the envelopes here. Um, right now I clicked on envelope number one and if you don't know what envelopes are um, I like to think of them as roller coasters. So basically if if the sound was a, one of the roller coaster carts it basically would go up this ramp which is called the attack then the decay right here would start going down and the sustain then it would go to the release and the sound would end so that's a uh, it's basically a visual uh, representation of how your sound will come out in order to use these modulators you basically click on this arrow here and drag it into any of these slots so I dragged mine into the pitch slot right here and remember you always have to set the value or else you won't hear the change in audio so I changed that to an octave that's the range and let's see how that sounds pretty fast so let's go ahead and slow it down here and I'm gonna exaggerate the attack so uh, it would be very easy to tell the difference. So we'll put that all the way up and see how that sounds. So you can definitely hear how the envelope will affect your pitch and the same principle would apply uh, through any of these slots here. So you can apply this envelope to the wave transient position, your intensity, um, your filters, any one with a slot here on the bottom. And uh, you can do that with the envelopes, you can do that with the low frequency oscillators, you can do that with the stepper, and uh, this thing right here too. Let's go over this now. Uh, you can see, oh actually, uh, this is called the Preformer, that's what it stands for. And uh, you can see these lines right here in each of the boxes. You can think of those as uh, just very small envelopes. Um, you can also manipulate the shapes of these uh, lines right here, and the sound will react to whatever shape is in the box. So let's uh, hear how this uh, sounds. Let me bring up my keyboard. Oops, I forgot something important. I forgot to assign it to, we'll assign it to oscillator two. Uh, we'll turn off this one. Remember, you always have to set the range. And I'm using the pitch again because uh, the pitch is the most easiest to tell on um, how your audio would sound like. So your pitch will be high, then it go low, high, low, high, low. Turn up the amp. You can also adjust the rate of of this uh, performer. So basically, the rate will make this go faster. Um, just take a look at this line while I play the key, and you'll see how fast this goes. You can also randomize your curves by clicking on the random button right here. You can also switch between the top and bottom waves or a combination of both by moving your fader, which is located right here.
you can also draw in different wave sh shapes just by clicking and dragging. Uh, let's bring up the load curve and you can add different types of waveforms right here. Click, 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 drag. So that is the uh, performer, and let's move on to the stepper, which is similar. Uh, stepper is a little more restricted, but it does work uh, the same way as the performer almost. So here you just basically add steps. You can see it looks like different steps. We'll do six of them. And let's check that out. Oh, got to load it. can also change the rate. You can also randomize these steps by clicking on the random button. You can hear the glide also. I'll go ahead and take off the glide so you can uh, hear how it sounds like without it. So the sound is automatically going right to the peak of the next step. But with the glide, it would gradually go to the peak instead. So the next thing I want to talk about are the low frequency oscillators. So like the other modulators, LFOs work the same way, almost the same way. Uh, there's your rate, which you can make it go slower or faster. Uh, there's your fader, which you can choose to go to the top waveform or the bottom waveform. And you can change those waveforms by either selecting it from the drop down menu box right here or you can click on one of these general waveforms. You can also change the attack and decay. Uh, let's just see how some of this sounds. We'll put it in a different section here. Let's try the intensity. Remember, you always have to set the range anytime you put these modulators in these slots. Let's actually fill up a few of these here. Let's see what we get. So you can see how just these modulators adds a whole new dimension to the synth. Uh, you can manipulate all these knobs, uh, the filters, the noise generator, feedback, your inserts, and your effects. Uh, we'll go over in more detail um, on the other sections in my next tutorial, uh, which will be like the filters and the effects units and uh, the inserts. So uh, stay tuned and thanks for watching.